DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule that contains all of the genetic instructions that determine growth and development throughout the lifespan. DNA exists in its complete form in the nucleus of every cell within your body. The structure of DNA is double helical, something like a ladder that has been twisted over and over. The ladder image is a good one to keep in mind for a moment. Much like a ladder, DNA has two styles, or the long vertical pieces, and a series of rungs between them. The styles of the DNA are made up of a sugar, deoxyribose, and a phosphate, while the rungs are made up of two matching nucleobases. There are four nucleobases total, cytosine, guanine, adenine, and thymine. In the normal run of things, cytosine is always paired with guanine, and adenine is always paired with thymine to make the full rung of our imaginary ladder. A nucleobase plus deoxyribose and a phosphate is known collectively as a nucleotide. A polynucleotide is defined as a string of at least 13 nucleotides. DNA, being double-stranded, has two polynucleotides, and they're an awful lot longer than the definition calls for. There are 3.2 billion base pairs, or the rungs on our imaginary ladder, on each strand of DNA that exist in the nucleus of each cell in your body. If you took the DNA from the nucleus of just one cell and stretched it end to end, it would be approximately 6 feet long. If you combine the stretched out DNA from the nucleus of every cell in your body, it would be 67 billion miles long which, according to the National Institute of General Medical Sciences, is enough for 150,000 trips to the moon and back. Well, how does it all fit? Magic. DNA wraps around a protein called a histone, much like thread wraps around a bobbin. A nucleosome is a bundle of DNA wrapped around a collection of eight histones. Nucleosomes twist and bundle together further to form chromatin fiber. DNA in this configuration is the best place to mention genes. Genes are sequences of base pairs that serve as a unit of heredity, passing on characteristics from parent to child. Chromatin fiber itself wraps around scaffold proteins to form a chromosome. During most of a cell's life, the structure is relatively loose. A good way to imagine it is kind of like a bowl of spaghetti. The image of a chromosome with which we're most familiar, this one, is when the DNA is wound up even tighter during a short-lived portion of the cell cycle called metaphase. <laughs>